my friends, it's me, Maria Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have lots to do. My fridge was a disaster, needed a complete restock and clean out. So we will be doing that. I will be sharing with you my grocery haul. We needed tons of produce. And then just a general tidy of the house. My kids have been very busy with all of their adventures and I love their creativity but it's time to reset, time to get things in order. So I'm gonna be taking you through a number of rooms in my house, getting things tidied up, and I am so glad you are here to hang out with me. And as you hang out with me, you might even find an opportunity to maybe win a little something. If you're new here, again, my name is Rhea Peterson. I am so glad all of you are here. I hope you'll continue to hang out with me. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let's get started. Okay, so this was a heavy produce haul. I did get some proteins though. I got a rotisserie chicken for one of the meals this week and then restocked on my pork tenderloin. I was completely out, which I never am. So we got more of that because we're gonna do some pulled pork sandwiches with some brioche buns. All the produce, we were out of like everything. So greens, carrots, bananas. I don't need to list them off for you, but Lots of fresh produce. Alice really loves these smashed avocado cups, so we got more of those. And then a few other odds and ends. I've got parsley and cilantro here, some green onion. I love radishes, and Alice actually likes them too, which I'm really excited about. Um, needed more sweet potatoes. Alice really wanted to get cereal this time, so we grabbed some of these. I just let her pick. So we've got these babies, and then we finally ran out of raisins. Alice is a big fan of raisins, so we needed to get more of those. That's why I buy them at Costco, because we go through them pretty fast. Um, Costco had this new variety pack. We usually get the one that has the cherry limeade and the strawberry lemonade, but this one looked really good. It's lemon, lime, raspberry, rose, and watermelon. The, I've had the raspberry rose before, and I really liked it, so I was really excited about this one. Um, some of the snack things, Callum brought a bag of these to school when he was doing his fairy tale ball. It was Peter Pan and we thought these were kind of like Peter Pan type food. Um, I think I was thinking more of like the Robin Williams one, but regardless, he was really excited to take these and he didn't actually really get any of them. So of course I grabbed another bag. I'm excited. I really like taking gummy bears, this brand of gummy bears on long runs. Um, I'm training for a marathon right now, and so I've got a lot of long Sunday runs ahead of me. They didn't have the gummy bears, and I don't think I'll fit these in my pouch, but this brand is one of my favorites for gummy bears. Uh, this was a complete impulse buy, and we did open them in the car on the way home. They're good. I do recommend. These are really delicious. Dangerously delicious. And then just our regular chips, and then they did have the cheesy smiles, which are one of Hugo's favorites. Otherwise, I got more sauerkraut because I haven't been brave enough to make my own yet. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. More bagels. My kids are obsessed with this salmon spruce bread. Let's see who makes this. Innkeeper's bread and breakfast. This looks really, really good. And then I mentioned those brioche buns. I'm doing a burrito bowl, like casserole thing. And so I needed the cheese that's gonna go with the rotisserie chicken. Um, cottage cheese, feta for a Mediterranean bean salad I'm making. I have a lot of meal preps. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to put together a meal prep video. It has been a while and I have a lot of meal prep to do this week. So let me know and I will certainly put that together for you. Eggs. And then I saw this, this was on sale at Costco and I have seen these online, like on TikTok and Instagram or whatever. And uh, we're that into that season. So I grabbed it and I'm gonna try it out. I'm hoping it works because the kids leave this door hanging open all the time. Um, so I was gonna try to put one kind of close to that and see how it does. These were on sale. I don't use a lot of fabric softener or scent beads or anything, but it's nice to have something with a little bit more scent. So 
I grabbed these. Otherwise, we've been using the free and clear, which are good, but I will throw in a, a more fragrancy one when stuff's like really bad, if you know what I mean. So that is the haul. It's massive. I also have a giant bag of rice over there that I need to put in the pantry, but lots of produce to wash, lots of fridge areas to wipe down. It's pretty gross in there. So let's get the produce soaking and we'll wipe out the fridge. definitely had a full sink so the strawberries get to hang out in their own bowl. I'm going to use my produce purifier. This one's by JHJ Homes. You can get them on Amazon really easily. This one's cool though. You add a little bit of salt and it ionizes the water so it helps like decrease pesticides, bacteria, germs. It doesn't like get caked on dirt. So you still have to like scrub stuff. I jostle things around throughout the cycle, but this thing's really cool. It does a good job. So it's gonna hang out in the sink for a minute and then I will move it in with the strawberries to get everything clean. We needed so much restocked. All of the empty containers are in the dishwasher, finishing up. So we're just gonna pull everything out. And I got a new thing, it's an herb saver. I got two of them and I will show you those when that it, like when I'm done cleaning the produce, but I'm really excited about it. It hopefully will increase the lifespan of my herbs. Very excited, but we're just gonna wipe everything out, get everything cleaned. It wasn't too bad in here, but I figure if I'm doing a big restock like this, I might as well just wipe the shelves off. Not everything really needs a lot of attention, but like there's crumbs, things get spilled. So I feel like I just might as well wipe everything out. So I'm gonna use the thieves cleaner, get everything wiped down and I'll use my little vacuum on a lot of the crumbs. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I've mentioned it a couple of times. My kids are almost done with school. It feels like there's just minutes left. They just have a few days and I'm excited for them to be home. I do like silence though sometimes. So like getting back in the swing of things being loud a lot of the time will be an adjustment, but I am really excited for them to be home and hanging out with me and they are out of their mind excited for summer break. They're getting older. My oldest is 10 and so like summer break is a thing now. Alice is four and so she was really bummed when school was over, but Hugo, my oldest, is very excited for school to be done and it's funny to see the change because when he was in preschool, he too was like, oh no, no more school. But now he's so excited. But I'm looking forward to it and hopefully I can find time for silence sometimes. I might be spending some time just sitting in my car in the garage just to have silence. I don't know, what do you do to balance that? But we are going to finish getting the fridge cleared out. I hope you are doing well. Let me know down in the comments what you have going on. Let's knock this all out.
got these herb saver things just because we're getting into that time of year where fresh herbs are more important to me. <laughs> um, and so I got these and I'm excited. I don't always have trouble with my like fresh herbs going bad, but it happens and it hurts my heart. And I've heard good things about these. You just stick the herbs in here and then they have these little spouts that you like put water in and then you change the water out each week and it should save these up, like save your herbs up to three weeks. So we have parsley and cilantro. My goal is to use them up this week for the recipes that I am making, but I'm me. Sometimes I forget or I don't wanna make that recipe anymore. And so the herbs are just sitting in there. Um, so this will hopefully give them a little bit more longevity um, because they live with me now, so. Well, these were a little bit fiddly, but we get there in the end. The bunches of herbs that I got were really big, so fitting it in there was kind of hard, but these things are cool. And then the produce keepers I have in the back where all of my produce are in, the pro keeper ones are really nice too. I will link them down in the description box. My produce lasts so much longer with those containers. I think a good produce container really makes just such a difference as opposed to keeping things like in the bag. With herbs, I used to put them in a glass jar with just water in the bottom and then put like a bread bag over the top, but it took up a lot of space. And these are just nice and compact. You can change out the water really easily. These things are really cool. Okay, so the fridge, finally done. I am going to unload the dishwasher. She's new. Isn't she gorgeous? Love her. I'm gonna unload the dishwasher, put some dirty dishes in the sink. We're gonna clean up the kitchen. I need to tidy up the mudroom and the bathroom down here, and then upstairs in Alice's room. Needs a little attention. I just washed her bedding, so I just kinda wanna dust, vacuum, put that all back together. But not tons to do. I also might vacuum the stairs. It's been a minute, but we'll see. We'll see. First, I'll start off by unloading my brand new dishwasher. We took advantage of the Memorial Day sales and finally got a new dishwasher. Our old dishwasher was a Whirlpool. It was a good dishwasher, but dishwashers with holes in the bottom are not great for the longevity of your subfloor. So we kept patching a hole that showed up. The little like soap pod dispenser broke and the soap pod like fell out. Something like it got stuck on the bottom or I don't know what happened, but a hole ended up in the bottom of that one and it was just terrible. But we patched it for the longest time and finally the Memorial Day sales happened. This one is a Bosch. It's kind of bougie, but we were able to get it on discount because of the sale. It was definitely worth it and it's really nice. It's nice to be able to run the dishwasher and not worry about it leaking because the patch finally gave up. We'd swapped out the patch a number of times. The glue was getting down into the filter and also what is the glue? What is it made of? What is my dishes? Like what's happening, right? So it was good to finally just replace it. We did last for like a year though with that patch, probably longer than that. So I don't know what that says about us. Think what you will, but we finally replaced the dishwasher. Again, the Whirlpool, it was a good dishwasher. It did the job. We didn't have any issues with it mechanically. It just ended up with that hole in the bottom. And then we weren't really sure how that happened, but we have our theories, obviously. But I'm gonna finish wiping things down. I'm gonna switch out my paper towel. Thanks again, Beverly, for this tip. 
I love it. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. We have a weird shaped Keurig apparently, and it kind of drips a lot. So this paper towel on the bottom helps to keep that tray a little bit cleaner. I love it, but I'm gonna keep wiping down the kitchen. Hope your tasks are going well. Let's keep going. We're almost done in the kitchen. Anybody else get excited about Animal Crossing during the shutdown? I was one of those people. I loved it. Now I couldn't sit through it for five minutes. I'm not a big video game person, but my kids love it and Lego came out with the Animal Crossing Legos. It was a very exciting time for everyone involved. So we have all of that adventure happening on the table. And then Alice has been getting into all of the little like craft uh, packages that you can get at different craft stores. She saw this bluey tea set and she definitely is very persuasive, obviously. So we have that now. Very exciting, but she's made like a lantern now and a kaleidoscope. Michaels has a bunch of different things right now for summer and she's been really excited. She's done with school, but her brothers aren't. And like I mentioned, she was sad to be done with school. So <laughs> we've been doing a lot of crafting, keeping her busy. She's very excited for her brothers to be home with her though. And I might need to take out a loan to afford all of these crafting things. I need to start saving like the toilet paper rolls and stuff like that and getting a little bit more DIY crafty as opposed to the kits. But the kits are so convenient and fun. And there's usually like a Michael's coupon that I can find. So I'll just need to learn to balance it out. And also there's just paint everywhere but it's okay it's cleanable i'm gonna finish wiping the table and i'm gonna put that little like zevo or zevo thing in very exciting we're gonna get that put in and then just keep tidying up we need to hit the living room next Ooh, I'm Lately, i've been dancing on my own so bravely steady steps on the ground hate me but i ain't never coming down Okay, we are in the living room and if you've been here a while, there is something that I constantly find left behind in here and it drives me crazy. Leave a comment down below if you know what it is because today is a day that will go down in history because I don't find this object down here. I don't find this thing and you can see I'm looking for it. I'm expecting to find it at any moment or them if you need that hint. What is the thing that's missing? Leave a comment down below and maybe you'll get something. First person to comment what that is. I was worried you blow up my reputation But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your hands on my silver Keep pulling the trigger, right? This very finger for people like them Oh, no, no But darling, oh, my, my I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown
no, no The way you make it, make it You drink me like liquor, you keep painting the picture, alright No, I don't care much for people like them Oh, no, no But darling, oh my, my I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown world and high All of the rugs, carpets are vacuumed, except for the one in here. I'm going to use my uh, wet dry vacuum, my tin co on all of the floors, but we're just gonna do that at the end and we're gonna hit the mudroom first. It is messy. One of my sweet children comes home from school and dumps all of the bark chips that accumulated into their shoe onto the floor in here. I've requested that they not do that anymore, but I feel like maybe that request was forgotten. So we've got to take care of that. There's a lot of bark chips happening in here. So I'm gonna pull out all of the baskets. We're gonna vacuum and then we'll mop in here, finish up and then move into the tiny bathroom, the little powder bath that needs a good wipe down as well. We are almost done. We're making our way through everything. It feels so good to get all of this stuff done especially like this i'd been putting all of the bark chips off so it is an accumulation over like a week or so but still it's a lot of bark chips and they get stuck to the bottom of your feet or your shoes if you walk through the house and they're just everywhere absolutely everywhere Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy About everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I noticed this green ring here on the soap pump. I think some of it is just like oxidization. It is kind of a brassy finish on there. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but also there's a lot of paint everywhere. Alice will come and wash her hands after a project. So once I got it cleaned off, there was a silver line instead of the brassy color. So it's probably broken down a little bit, but it wasn't the end of the world. And that little residue down at the bottom is paint. I pretty positive it's paint. There was a lot of soap left over though, so I'm just gonna use the soap that's in the sink and clean out the sink that way. I do have my sanitizing wipes as well. There was a little bit of paint caked on there that I used, but otherwise I'm just an opportunist. So we're just gonna use the soap that was already in there to clean the sink out and then finish wiping things down with the method sanitizing wipes. But I'm gonna keep cleaning, I'm gonna play some music, we're gonna finish up in the bathroom, we're gonna mop all of the floors downstairs, and then make our way up to Alice's room. I will let my guard down. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. Love a little
when you hold me I rather lost my senses than be lonely cuz baby when you touch me I feel holy oh nothing in the world will, oh will kill me as long as I got you I was running from myself those days Always breathless search for something safe And then I smashed into that golden face And for the first time I don't run away We danced together till we got it right Ups and downs through many days and nights the dark like if we weren't scared close to each other's backs without no fear hold on and waited for the sun to appear it's in the night time i'm by your side oh Okay, so all I have left to do is Alice's room and then I'll quickly vacuum the stairs and be done. Almost done. I'd rather lost my senses than be lonely Cause baby when you touch me I this is Alice's temporary bedding while I was washing her other bedding. I got it in late, so it wasn't gonna be dry in time. <laughs> and she always actually gets really excited whenever I put this on there. I think it's because it's different. And so bedtime's a lot easier. And I always keep that in my back pocket just in case, but I've never really had a problem with her. Knock on wood, because now that I've put it out into the universe, she's not gonna go to bed tonight, but she's the best at staying in her bed out of my three children. I have one child that uh, if you don't sit outside the door would probably never sleep. So <laughs> Alice definitely is the opposite of that. I frequently get asked when I do like bed making stuff with these, these are Bettys. They are really cool. It's like a fancy sleeping bag and it's really easy for my kids to make their bed. They are uh, not a small, amount of money, but I definitely think it was worth it. I did wait until the Black Friday sales for these though, because they are kind of expensive, but my kids really like them. They're really nice. I don't love them for myself and Connor because we're both kind of tall. And so like I need to be completely covered when I sleep and the sides come up a little bit, but they're great for my kids. And I don't know if you're an adult and you have one, maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but I love them for my kids. I don't love them for a grown adult, but for the kids, they're awesome. Do you know how much I love you? Want to see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all. Sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the back.
about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good, the good vibes We are all about the good, the good times Dance until it feels alright, all night We're all about the good vibes, all about the good vibes I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the Alice got into making jewelry for a while. She's got a couple of things here, just a lot of little knickknacks, things like that. So I grabbed this tray that I'd used for my spring decor and I thought it would go really well in her room. And she was really excited. And it was nice to have like a spot that she could put her bracelets, her few little Pokemon cards that her brothers have not commandeered. So it was nice to get the tray in here and just have a spot for everything. And she has been really, really excited about it. Dance until it feels all right All night We're all about the good vibes All about the good vibes I know I messed up Yeah, I know I did you wrong but I learned my lesson Now what if we could move on? Remember the good days I wish that we could go back I know I'm not perfect But at least give me a try I'm sorry That is everything that I have for you. We were able to knock out so many things and it felt so good to get everything done. I hope that you have been able to also get your tasks done or that you were just happy to hang out with me. I absolutely love it when you leave a comment and I'm always so appreciative of your time. If you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Continue to hang out with me. I will see you next time. Bye. It's goodbye.